Okay, welcome. So I'm trying to take this wheel off, and I uh, on this Citroen Citroen C4, and the locking nut is uh, is stuck in there. Um, I think people have used previously. If we look at this one, uh, people have used a uh, an air gun. I'm just going to position this a little better light. You can see. They've used an air gun, I don't know if you can see, but the lugs themselves have been damaged and rounded. Um, I thought I may have done it by putting the wood on too tight previously, but I haven't. Um, I've spoken to a couple of people about this. So what I'm going to try and do, try and do, try and do, try and do, is drill it out. Um, ordinarily you could put a bolt on it and weld it. However, I don't have a welder, but I've got a drill. So it's hardened steel, uh, therefore I'm going to have to use... Um, uh, core bolt drills, drill bits, and I'm trying to drill it out to size to about 9mm and find something with a spline on it, knock it in as hard as I can, and hopefully that's going to do it. Uh, I'll let you know how I get on, I'll do it in stages, um, and we'll see. Uh, I don't really have anything to film me doing this, but anyway, we'll see how we get on. Okay, just to recap what I have tried to do previously, um, which I failed to mention in the first video. Uh, I've tried a, um, a number of things. I've tried an, over, an undersized socket, that didn't work. I've tried impact, uh, like a, an impact um, hammer, one of these, that didn't work. Um, I've tried a number of things. I've tried uh, tying it on by using a, uh, um, a belt and ratchet, that didn't work. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll try and see how we get on with this now. Um, I've just made a centre punch, what I'm going to do is drill a 9mm hole, as previously mentioned, and then try and knock a spline into it, and, uh, and turn it that way. Let's see how we get on. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm just going to try and change the slides on here. That's better. Right, so I've spent about an hour now uh, drilling a little pilot hole and now I'm using a completely different bit. Uh, here we are. Um, I did start off with a more with a men's drill, which is this one, but it's got no speed control on it, so I've gone for this one. I did it at a very low speed, for about between one and two. Um, and it is cutting through now. Um, yeah, it is painstaking. A lot of um, it is painstaking. As I say, there's a lot of uh, WD-40 being used. But now I'm through, and I've got the pilot on through. It's working. I have snapped a couple of bits in doing this job, um, which is frustrating because they are cold bolt bits. So uh, well, either they are. That was okay. They're okay. So I've gone through a couple of bits. Hopefully we'll see how we get on now, and hopefully I'll level off in the next um, hour or so, and then I can start on the clutch. Fantastic. The reason this is damaged um, is that people have used an air gun to put this on previously and take it off, and that's damaged the lugs on there, which is why 
we're now trying to take this off using a drill. Also, I've got to often use a spline, slightly oversized FBH that's known as a big hammer. I think you work out what the F is. Knock it in, and hopefully we should be able to turn it. Okay. Um, I've gone off centre, which might be a problem. Um, try not to do that. Try and get dead centre if you can. But hand and eye coordination and a centre push for me is not the best thing in the world. All right. Okay. Further to what I just did. Um, if we look here. Uh, look here, what I've done, I've drilled a hole and I've knocked one of these kind of splines in. Um, I'll to try and bring it to focus. Focus. Focus on your man. So we're doing that with some white background. Yeah, so I've knocked one of these in. Um, so I've got about 10 mil deep. And I'm going to try and do, because that's seems nice and solid. I might lose that bit. Um, I'll work out to take it out there later. Um, let's try and do it. We'll see how we get on. It's going to pause you there whilst I do it. Okay, so we have success. As you can see, it's turning in there. So I'm going to take that out now. I'll try to hold your focus and hold it straight. I'll take that out now. And we'll see how we get on. Right. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the nut out. Um, there you go, probably the only th good thing that I've been made on these cars is those uh, locking nuts because you're not going to take it out. Um, it took about an hour to do, uh, a couple of bits, I think this bit cost me, not this bit, the actual drill bit I used, um, I think it cost, what was it, the drill that I used cost about 23 quid, so it's quite an expensive bit, however I can't take the car to a garage because to another garage even though I don't have a welder. Um, so I'm a home mechanic, I've used somebody else's ramble. Um, yeah, so if you get stuck at home, a little bit of a noise you can do it. Okay. Right, I'm going to crack on and do the rest, take the rest of the wheel off. So from the man who's got a face for radio and a voice for silent movies, speak to you again.